Hey there, and welcome to the screencast about how to use Destiny to Discover, the online platform we have for checking our print catalog and placing holds on books that you actually want to check out in the libraries that we have here in the Valley Stream Central High School District. So right off the bat, there's a few ways to get to Destiny to Discover. I'm here at the North Library website, and right on the homepage, there's a link to it right down here. There's also a place for it in this books tab, and there's also a place for it in class link. So you can access it through all of these different ways, and no matter which button you click, it's going to take you here. This is what Destiny Discover looks like. Um, you will notice that there's a little message for me here. You're going to see that there's some resources here, some links to click on. But the first thing you're going to do, always when you get to that Destiny Discover, is to log in. Because you can't really do anything without logging in. So you are going to just click this button that says Valley Stream Central High School District. And once you do that, it will automatically log you in. You do not have to fill this part out. However, you're going to see me fill this out because I have an admin account and it's a little bit different of a process. And I'm just going to log in this way, but you will always hit that blue button. Once you are logged back in, it's going to say hi and then your name. And now you can start searching. So the way this is organized is you have right at the top here, I have recently added books. These are the things that are most recently added to our collection. You can already start to see that you can see if a book is in or out just based on these little icons at the top. These books are in, this particular book um, is out. I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see popular titles. These are books that um, have come uh, are in continuous circulation people are taking them in people are checking them out um, and as I continue to scroll down here you're gonna see various topics these are different genres that you can search by so if you want to search just our science fiction collection or just our graphic novels you can search right there and then there's also collections here which are things that I've curated and made put certain books together based on different grade levels different um, genres etc and you can search through um, and see all the various different ones that we have but if you want to search for a very specific book you absolutely can um, that's what this search bar is here at the top you can search for let's say you want to see uh, what we have in terms of mystery books type in the word mystery and it's gonna bring you up all the books that we have associated to this genre and words that are associated with it so you can see like mystery is in all of these things and I can see what is in and what is out just by this so let's say as I'm looking at this, I really like this uh, this book right here, Down the Rabbit Hole, it's piquing my interest, I wanna read a little bit more about it, I can click on it. When I click on it, it's gonna bring me a little bit of information here, it's gonna give me a little bit of an overview of it, um, and this hold button is gonna be right here. So this hold button is going to be the way that I place a hold on a book for that uh, either myself or one of the other uh, librarians of the desk is going to get the book ready for you. So I'm going to hit hold. And now it changes to unhold. And that little green message at the bottom came up. And that means that that book is now mine. And the people behind the scenes are getting everything ready to get the book um, to check out for you. So I'm going to click close right there. And that is that. That book now is now getting ready for me. Um, you can also do cool things like let's say you are you had this book where you wanted to um, you didn't want to place a hold, but it sounded interesting. You wanted to favorite it. You wanted to remember it for later because maybe you're building a bunch of different, um, you're building a list for yourself as independent reading goes on. You want to check this book out maybe next. You can add it to your favorites um, because you can keep that, uh, there's a place to, that tracks that for you. You can always also view more details as well if you want to see a little bit more about the book. Um, you can click that at the bottom. It'll give you some summaries. It'll give you even more information about the book. It'll give you different related subjects, things like that, but it will also give you similar titles. So if you're on a book and you like the way it sounds or you've read a book, you can get other suggestions over here. Um, let's say you wanted to search for something very specific. Let's say you wanted to search for Ghost by Jason Reynolds to see if we have it here. We do, we have two copies and they're currently out. Um, but let's say I click on one and I want to, um, favorite it because it's currently out. If I place a hold on a book that is out, um, it's not really going to do anything. So I'm going to favorite it. Those are two things that I favorite. I'm going to go back here. So I want to show you where some of this stuff lives. So if I go to my stuff, I can see my checkouts. I currently have nothing checked out, um, but I could also see 
uh, history of books that I have maybe checked out or put on hold and things like that. You can see a bunch of the things I have done. Um, and I could also see my holds. Now this is right now being held um, and it will move to checkout once it is uh, completely checked out and ready. Um, if you want to track it that way. Also, you will receive a message uh, either by email or by Teams um, letting you know that it's ready. Um, but then you could also go to your favorites. So your favorites, now you can see these two books that I have here in my favorites. Um, I can track these, I can keep it kind of seeing like when is something in, when is something out, and if something comes back in like Ghost, I can then place a hold on it and go from there. Um, I could always go back by hitting the top there and continuing to search. So this is Destiny Discover, this is how you use it. Um, you are only really going to be using this for print books that we have here in the library, stuff that you can actually physically hold and take out. Um, this is the best way to search the collection, it's the best way to kind of see what we have uh, because we do have uh, over 5,000 books upstairs in the library and um, you know it's, it's difficult to see what we have unless you're using a platform like this. So if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask. Um, Destiny Discover is accessible through many different ways and I look forward uh, to seeing the great books that you put on hold. Okay, great. Have an awesome day. Take care.